Hi there, it's Nicole for Ellen Hudson, and today I have a card showcasing the new Stay Golden Stamps and Dies, part of the Essentials by Ellen late summer release, and it's a great set of stamps that features these wonderful pineapples, florals, and a whole bunch of really cute greetings, great to coordinate with the pineapples. I played around with several color combinations, trying to figure out kind of what I thought worked the best. One thing I love when I'm working with a solid image is to use ombre inks if possible. Now it didn't work in that upper left corner. I left it there. If I was maybe going for a little bit brighter, more maybe contemporary or kind of untraditional type card, I think that color combination would be fun. But I used some ombre inks from Hero Arts for the green part of my pineapple and then a solid yellow for the solid piece and the layering piece was the ombre browns. I'm gonna go ahead and die cut these two pieces. This is a card design where I didn't have an exact plan in mind when I started stamping these images. Sometimes I have a really clear cut idea of where I'm going with the card design and sometimes it is just kind of a get in there, start stamping and see where the products take me. And the end result for this particular card was kind of a result of that. I simply started stamping, inking up, stamping these images and the design kind of fell into place. So there is my pineapple. Obviously it's gonna be the star of the show, but I wanted to add some bright florals. I thought they would really add a lot to the card design. Again, using the ombre ink so I can get multicolored florals from a solid stamp design. I'm stamping leaves, I'm stamping flowers, all with the Hero Arts ombre inks. This is a great place to use these simply because you get those multicolored flowers very easily. I snipped apart my dies with some metal snip scissors and then I'm gonna simply tape the coordinating stay golden dies in place and then die cut those. I'm even gonna go and stamp some darker flowers. This is an ombre purple pad and I stamped it a few times trying to really get the purple, large purple flower exactly the way I wanted it. Again, some more greenery, more leaves. I'll go ahead and snip these out a lot. I know if you've watched some of my videos, you probably noticed that a lot of times I do all of my stamping. If I'm coloring, I'll do that, then I die cut. This is one of them where I kind of just stamped, die cut, stamped, die cut, building on the design. And this was really what I was going for, that little collage of fruit and flowers. I have a strip of watercolor cardstock now and I've stamped one of the greetings. I picked one of my favorites from the stamp set, stamped it with Versamark, sprinkled on some white embossing powder from Hero Arts, and then I am gonna heat set that for a little embossed resist. So I wanted something that was really going to make all of these bright, bold, stamped images really pop from the background. So once I have my greeting heat set, I'm gonna take some tumbled glass, or pardon me, salty ocean distress ink, and start inking up this panel, darker at the bottom until it's, it gradually gets lighter near the top of the panel. This is something I do a lot. Easy to create kind of a multi-colored or multi-shade panel with one color of ink. Then I spritzed it with water from a distress sprayer and blotted it dry with a paper towel. If I was a little too aggressive with my water, I went back in and applied a little bit more ink. And you can see the greeting now pops off of that background, plus all of these images are really gonna be showcased nicely against the blue of the background. I'm gonna create a little collage of the pineapple and florals and I'm even going to have some florals kind of be over there on the left hand side. I stamped a few additional flowers for that purpose. There they are. Then I love the look of a finished edge on a strip like this. So this is a die from Mama Elephant. It's called a fine trimmings die and it's these little teeny tiny circles. And what I love about this, you definitely would not need the die. So you 
Do, you definitely don't have to have that if you don't have this kind of a die. But what I love about it is it's going to make these little holes. And I'm gonna do that along the top and bottom of this strip. This is gonna just make it so much easier to add some hand stitching. You could poke the holes yourself with a needle. You could machine stitch along the edges. So you definitely don't have to do it with a die. But the beauty of this die is it's gonna be perfectly spaced holes. It's already gonna you know, have little holes in the cardstock. I'm not gonna to have to try to be pushing a needle through it. So it's just super, super easy to add that hand stitched detail that is so cool on cards, I think. I am taking a paper piercing tool. Sometimes these holes are so small that they don't like to pop out. So I just like to pop them all out before I start sewing. Then I've got some gold thread that I'm going to double up and I am simply gonna start stitching. And what I'm gonna do is come up and go down every other one. That's going to leave a space in between each stitched um, section, which you'll see here in a little bit as I start stitching maybe. I doubled it up because otherwise the, the string or the thread is so thin, I think it kind of got lost. Now, you could totally leave it every other one, but I really like the look of the whole strip having those stitch lines next to each other. So I started doing it just single, you know, with a single strand. This is where I decided to double it up. I'm simply gonna use a little tape to hold that in place and start going up and down every other one. You're gonna see the difference immediately because the thread is gonna be much thicker and show up a lot, lot better. So sewed all down one end, and then I'm just gonna go every other one back the other way, and that is gonna fill in all of those little spaces. This may seem kind of time consuming, but I promise I did this in just a jiffy. I simply sat down, watched some TV, sewed those in place and was able to move on really quick. But that gold thread adds a really nice detail along the top and the bottom edge. So I've done the bottom edge first and I'm going to take glue dots and attach all of my elements now. Kind of make sure everything is going to fit and work. These glue dots make it easy to attach some of the smaller stamped and die cut pieces. I'm purposely not going to attach the top of the pineapple yet because it's gonna hang off the top of this strip a little bit. And I still need to do my stitching along the top edge of my card. So once I have all of those elements, gonna grab my thread again and start sewing the top edge. Again, just using a little tape, holding the end in place nice and flat. Finish that, another little piece of tape. And there is my finished edge and I can go ahead and attach the top of my pineapple. Glue dots are perfect for this because it's a little bit tricky with all those little spikes. And before I press it down in place too much, I'm gonna take that gold thread again, wrap it around a couple times, and I'm gonna tie it in a little bow on front in the front of my pineapple. That's gonna coordinate nicely with those gold thread in the two borders. So it's really thin thread, can be a little bit tricky to get tied in a bow. I had to try a couple times. Fingers kept getting in the way. I did use a little glossy accents on the knot so it would hold it in place and wouldn't move anywhere. Just work with those ends and the, the bows to make sure you get them exactly the way you want. Once I have that all done, still messing with that bow a little bit before I add the glue, there's that glossy accents, which is just gonna secure that bow so that it doesn't come untied when you send it through the mail. I'm using an acrylic block to kind of help hold that down in place. I'm using a craft knife to pick up some little teeny tiny Hero Arts pearls that I'm placing in the centers of all of my flowers. Pretty finishing touch to just finish those off. Then I am going to take the Wink of Stella clear glitter brush pin, add a little bit of glitter to all of my flowers. 
really easy and simple. Nice way to add some glitz and glimmer, a pretty finishing detail. I'll do that for all of my flowers. And I'm also going to color in my pineapple as well since I wanted him to be the star of my card. Just color over that whole thing. I think my marker is getting a little bit empty, so it's not coming out quite as heavy as it once did, which I sort of like in between. I don't like at first when it comes out real heavy. I don't like at the end when it doesn't come out at all. I'm gonna flip over my border then, and I'm just gonna cover it with foam adhesive, pull all that adhesive off, and attach that to a white card base. And that is gonna finish off my Stay Golden Pineapple Card design. Thanks for joining me for this card showcasing the essentials by Ellen Stay Golden Stamps and Coordinating Dies. The supplies I've used to create this card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more card designs showcasing pineapples that you might be interested in. Please subscribe for weekly card making and stamping videos. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.